Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Playoffs Season 45, Round of 64. We start with cheering fans, giving both teams an extra re-roll. We have got Zin and his Amazons versus Sniperino 9000, which I believe is Colian, but I don't know if it's confirmed. That's just the rumour that I've heard. Um, Zin has got a wizard and a bribe and two babes. And in the booth with me is Fymir. Hello. Hello, everybody. Here we are with the Amazons versus Chaos, which I think the Amazons team is better on a level of skills uh, and on that because the Chaos, uh, the, the, the claw is wasted and uh, they're going to need a lot of tackle hits and they don't have that much. They have one, two, two tacklers. Yeah, and not with the palm. But the problem in the other team is Amazon. Which can struggle a lot in these uh, kind of games. As we all know, as we all know, thanks to Dimmy G, <laughs> Amazons will never we'll win Chalice. Will never chance. win Chalice. <laughs> or he could have surfed this guy on turn one. That would have been wild, wouldn't it? Like he went for the 1D there and then he would have been able to surf, surf the zone that, on turn one. That, that was a 1D before the Blitz. Yeah, all right. He, because he was going to go for the surf if he if he if he pushed he would he could have surfed it so that would have, it was definitely worth doing. But you could argue maybe he should have set it up better. But yeah, like it's funny, isn't it? There's like four claws completely wasted. Um, one of the tackles the ball carrier, so can't use that so much. And yeah, the Zons have got loads of guard, like actually loads of guard. Four, <laughs> not that much. He's, guard. Carry he's carrying with the ball carrier versus a wizard. But it was a short. It was a short kick. Yeah. So yeah, maybe then yes, you need to. Do, oh, here he comes. So just going for the thorough attrition uh, play, which is which is fair, isn't it? Like it, the six and two threes. At, at the end of the day, you can either keep your bribes to foul the claw palmer, or you can just try and get the snowball rolling the other way. And I guess that's that's worth it with Sons, where the palmer isn't actually that good, right? Because he hasn't got tackle, so he's. Going to mostly use this warrior yeah. for block, mighty blow tackle. Ah, so the chance of fouling the the uh, Colopom uh, with tackle is going to be very small because he's going to tend to protect them as much as possible. Yep. So, yeah, on two bench for the Chaos uh, and three bench three. for the Zone. Yeah, the zones look pretty nice. Um, it didn't actually have as much guard as I thought they did. Um, we have four. Yes. But, but yeah, they've got four, which is, which is standard because all four blitzes should have four, and then you should have guard, and then you'd like an extra one or two. So like six guard would have been a lot of guard, but this is just kind of like a normal amount of guard. Apart from the guard zones, they have no guard. No, they don't have like tons of guard. <laughs> Ooh. Does re roll because he wanted that chain away, I guess. No, he didn't. Nope. Disregard. He's going to. He's going for the, the 2D on the, on the Mighty Block Claw. Which yeah. is very good because that's, that's the most dangerous piece on the Chaos team right now. Yeah, and the blitz there. Does he dodge to foul? No, because he's kept him. Sorry, I will call the Amazons him, um, just because it's easier and I'm used to it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The guard linos, you, you, you would have expected one or two guard linos by now, and he's, he's got one. But then he hasn't got guard on this uh, split. Probably the, the Amazons lack healing power. Only one mighty blow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're really low TV. Like, that's why they've got all of this, yes. isn't it? A bribe, two babes, and a wizard. And that, yes, and that's why they need to make as many fouls as possible because with blocks, they're not going to get much. Yep. And yeah, it's a good point. I mean, Chaos are often, often are a bit guard light, aren't they? Especially if you build the Warriors like this. I mean, I think this tackle, 
it, you know, is, is unusual, but like going block claw mighty is, well, block mighty claw is, is completely normal, isn't it? So like often, often chaos will be a bit guard light. And they can more or less afford to do it because they have a strength for pieces and the beastmen have a horn. Exactly, yeah. I hate this move uh, because you could have pulled one from further away and then this one could have come around here because hitting this Rackle seems a really good idea. <laughs> Rackle Garda. And also hitting the Pom seems a really good idea. So I would have liked to have uh, moved both of these guys up over here and shut this down. I think we're live now. We started as a replay because it had started like five minutes ago, but now we've caught up. Uh, he's done it twice, has he? Oh yeah, guard then wrestle. Well, he's done wrestle guard and guard wrestle. I think the wrestle guard is more understandable than the guard wrestle. <laughs> like, I think if you've gone guard first, you should probably go block, shouldn't you? Maybe he skilled him up before this match, so just took wrestle thinking it's against Amazons. Who knows? Yeah. No, but that's, uh, that one is uh, 31 SCP, so... Oh, anyway, yeah, yeah, this... Lot. This one's thirty nine, but yeah, th and this I, one, this one's weird, isn't it? Like the fact he's on twenty three, maybe like he got like two Kaz and an MVP or something, and he gave him wrestle. But even then, like, well, no, because you he still want blocker guard, don't you? Like, I, I don't think you could go tackle. Yeah, it's still if it was the case. Guard wrestle. I think Bismen are much better, you know, going block guard. Yeah. Or block in general, and having maybe one with a uh, wrestle. Yeah, I mean they're both a bit. Well, they're both a bit weird because, like, if you go like I, I, I do sometimes go guard first, you know, so they can support your more skilled up guys, you know, and just do like, you know jam in some guards so you don't get muscled by orcs, and then while you're waiting for your claw to come good. But like, so going guard first seems fine, but then guard wrestle is really weird. And obviously if you go wrestle first, then you tend to go wrestle frenzy or wrestle tackle to like maximize the chance of putting people down. So it is a bit weird. Both of them are a bit weird, really. But the wrestle guard, I guess, is more understandable because he's just taken wrestle and then, and then he's gone guard because guard is good. Because <laughs> guard is generally better than, than a skill that isn't guard. <laughs> one of the best skills in the game. Yep. Oh. With a massive margin. <laughs> there we go. We've got a removal. Turn four. And it is a guard player. There's another pal. Mighty blow. Dead. Dead. <laughs> dead, dead, dead. Ging, 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 ging. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> and the wow, apple apples. fails. Yuck. Yeah, I think he's got to, right? Because it's guard. It's yeah, like... yeah. <laughs> and it's already, it's already a guard down from the KO, so yeah. Yeah. I don't know how you would judge the percentage C-Shark, but certainly the fact that they've already got block and tackle sorted for them is, isn't it, is the big thing. Well, this has been a bit of a... This has been a bit of a good turn for the Chaos, hasn't it? I mean, the, the Amazons kind of in, invited it by just manning them up completely <laughs> and saying, why don't you try to knock us all down? And Chaos went, okay. <laughs> And knocked them all down, and there was. This is, I guess, you know, like, uh, like the opposite of Inari no Chunta, right? Um, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not saying Zin's a terrible player, but like, 
all of this basing just didn't really achieve anything and just got all of his players punched and it didn't generate anything. Um, it is because the, you know, Chaos, Strength 4, so they seem... Oh, I thought you were going to do the 100% concentrated power of will thing then, but there you go. Uh, ah, there you go then. <laughs> Elp did it for us. Um... <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't think you can... That, that, that's the only bad thing about Dio's equity thing, is when he says, like, 3% more equity or something is just complete insanity. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, give me a 2% extra there, and they're like, okay, maybe. <laughs> that gives us 0.8 more equity here, <laughs> things like that <laughs> <laughs> are really silly but you know you can't bet any numbers on it but y you know you should be trying to uh you should be trying to you know estimate the equity and you should be tr you know match equity and you should be trying to move the needle on that match equity like that is completely reasonable but trying to estimate it the way Dio sometimes does I mean I can see him smiling <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you can see I can hear smile, him smiling. Yeah. Sorry, I can hear him smiling. That's the uh, that's the <laughs> that's the that's the Timmy quote I was going for. No, but no, that's more than chess. It's a, a poker thing. You know, the expected value, the equity, the small percentage here and there. You know, given the situation, blah blah. blah reading the plays yeah. is a <laughs> very poker thing. Yeah, yeah, it's a, yeah, the, yeah, the EV and. Yes, I using hold the manager, play. using hold the manager and all that. I remember that from my days playing poker yep. and working for poker companies. So yeah, there was and actually yes, it is a lot of math involved in poker. Yeah, there is. Oh, all the GFIs and fails. <laughs> right. Well, now he gets to move the ball right in the middle, doesn't he? Probably that's what I would like to see, and then you can, you know, defend it with a big blob, which means even if he does fireball or whatever or ball, he's probably not going to be able to get in and out with the ball, right? Because he's only sons after all, isn't he? It's not the same as facing Edge Five Kislev, where <laughs> they'd be able to scoop it up at any point. Like these zones are not going to be able to pressure after a wizard very well. And if you guys are wondering. What happens when you play against AG5 uh, Kislev? You have a game Monday, 7th of March, 7 uh, p.m. UTC. Jim and Rick have agreed to make a demonstration game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, imagine if we like if we like had a friendly game and then just like um, did a GFW game for to see who won in the actual tournament. <laughs> That would be glorious, but uh, no. This is this is our chalice, our chalice match. Um, will be on Monday, seven with Fimea doing commentary and probably somebody else because Rick's got his 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 quad skulls crew doing comms. So we will have separate casts. Pretty sure someone will jump up with me on the commentators for that game. Glorious. I in fact I truly hope so that it's someone that knows how to play Blood Bowl proper. <laughs> Maybe PC. PC's a PC's good value, isn't he? Oh yes. Um, I mean, I don't know. C sharp, probably Beastman. <laughs> probably Beastman. Ah, oh, there. What's it called? I mean, well, Beastmen are Underworld. Let's just right. I guess Chaos, because there's more of them. It's only one double. So yeah, chaos. It's not ultimate cheaters here in chat. Is not El meme. <laughs> yeah, you see, you see is El meme. Yeah. All uh, right. Used to be the the artist uh, known as El meme. <laughs> yeah. I mean, seeing as he's in here and I'm letting him speak, I guess I should just unban El meme. Eh? That's his main account. Oh, there we go. Another one. Ding, ding, ding. Alright, there you go, Elp. Your, your, your main account, your main... I just literally just unbanned you anyway, so... Um, 
Uh, just try to uh, opinion, try to read the room a bit sometimes, Elf. <laughs> all right. Don't only just be a troll all the time. <laughs> no sword, no. <laughs> You're on thin ice, Elf. You're on thin ice. <laughs> <laughs> the classic, the classic thin ice <laughs> Oh, so good. So good. Oh, he's got a 1D! How the hell has that happened? How the hell has that happened when he just had, like, I just don't understand. That is careless. He's made the L cage. He's made the classic L cage. <laughs> what? Sending a message to the opponent, making, you know, uh, cages in front of the form of letters. <laughs> Reminds me of Dodgeball when he says, that's right, honey, L for, L for love. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's L for love, you know, I love you, honey. You know, Sniperino sending a message of love to the world. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was a bit weird, because, I mean... You know, he got a one D on the ball there, didn't he? And like, okay, it was, it was, it was only a one D, but and there's very few players, and he probably wasn't going to fire ball. But you know, I don't know. I feel like he should do better than letting somebody get a one D like that. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Skuro, Skuro and Faimir, could you imagine that? Oh, well, that could be done, but I think Skuro has a friend coming to dinner tomorrow, eh, Monday. Oh, yes, yeah, tomorrow. yeah, yeah, but I think, yeah, but I think that's after Claw. Because it's like he's different time zones, isn't he? So he, oh, he, yeah, he seven is for him, is a midday, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, maybe I should ban help meme and he, he ultimate cheaters before, before the Rick game again. <laughs> Reban for the duration of the help game. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, so now he's he still hasn't really made it safe, has he? But I, I guess there's an argument for like hunting down and maxing blocks and stuff because it's safe enough. There's certainly there's certainly an argument for that, isn't there? Like, if you notice, uh, PC really likes safe players, doesn't he? Uh, when he's commentating, and he's like, "Why? What's this? Couldn't we have just? What's he? Couldn't this have been safer though?" And it's like, the 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 problem is like, if it's safe enough, you are getting more you are getting more equity by like trying to uh, maximize removals and everything, aren't you? So it's while you know it's not necessarily better to be safer, is it? There is a there is a bit of right now it's four plus three plus into one D, which I will take. Yeah. If I was the Amazon player, I'll do it. I mean, uh, like okay, you offer it, I'll take it. And and if he can if he can possibly get the wizard used here to a complete failure, then that's amazing, isn't it? Like that's the best possible result you can get if. Uh, if there's a wizard and a wizard and no uh, no capitalization, then that is absolutely the the dream drive. If you if you go in one nil and the opponent yes. use the wizard, so now with a dodge failing tackle, I wouldn't roll that. No, neither would I. But he's going to use his last reroll in this dodge. Um, I thought he was going to tag. Uh, I don't know the the cash warrior or. Uh... All right, Timmy. Yes, technically. Instead, he has just let <laughs> he has re-rolled so that he can get hit by tackle. Well, not tackle bomb. Block bomb. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I, th I think there was an argument for just lying down there. And I yes, try the try the four four plus three plus into one dice to see what happens and if it works, okay. But if it's not like you know what, this is over. Yeah. Let's wait for the second half. Yeah. 
I mean, he's going to have a full team for the, the Amazons are going to have an early guaranteed a full team for the second half. Yeah, yeah, they still got a good chance to have 11. Like, obviously down a bit of quality, block mighty blow and block guard. Um, but if these two come back, then, then they're not down that much quality, are they? So they'll, they should still have 11. But yeah, it's, it's getting bad for them. <laughs> like, it's getting bad for them. I guess they should have... They should have tried something a bit more imaginative than stand in a big long line and get everybody powered. <laughs> but it's hard, I mean it's hard, right? The, the Chaos have got a lot more strength, they've got all these warriors, and they've got a bit of tackle. Uh, so it's... That was a very tall order for the Amas to win the game. Like, like once the once the Chaos start rolling some pals, then, you know, they've got, they've got these, these three warriors are really good. You know, and, and if uh, there is a lot of mighty blow. There is four mighty blow on the chaos team. So yes, yeah. powers will start to happen. And not making this three dice doesn't matter. Gets the power. Is he going to foul? I mean, maybe he should. Right? He's got he's got two reserves, so he probably should foul. This is a decent player. It's not not the best player, but then he's already he's already removed the best player. I guess that is is the guard stand firm the best player on the on the Zom team. I think he, that's the case. Yeah, probably. So yeah, this is this is decent then I guess now. Oof, the double skulls gets another power though, another mighty blow knocked out. That, is, that I mean, that is the big danger with it with the zones, isn't it? They just need a few, a few players to go down, and, and Armour Seven getting mighty blowed is sad times for them. <laughs> as soon the TV starts to rise, a mighty blow and tackle start to appear. The Amazons start to lose uh, value. Yeah. Hello, kill. We've just had. Uh, we've just done. Dog to the Dog versus Razzlestorm and Kislev versus Vampires. Yeah, do you know what, Dimmy? I'm, I might try to win Chalice with Zons. That, uh, I'm just saying that Amazons will never win Chalice, even if I think it. But you winning Chalice with Zons will involve you qualifying with Zons. Yeah. Which I don't know if that's going to happen, Jim. I don't know if you have the, the mental endurance to endure uh, Amazon's run. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I've been... I've been banned for that. So has Dimmy. Dimmy's been banned for using one of my emotes. That's, that's the best ban. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best plan. Um, yeah, caution. People have said that that people have had uh, that people have had uh, games. Games lost, being so eaten again. Yeah. Someone forgot in Chennai to pay the invoice for the server. Off, yeah. And then, so yeah, there'll, there'll be a few replays after this. There, there seems to have been a lot of games today, so yeah, do, do a few replays after this. Yeah, so they're back. They're fully back. Uh -oh. Seems that games have been actually been eaten, Jimmy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Games have been eaten. Games have been eaten, too. <laughs> yeah, cyanide exceedingly competent. Said nobody ever. <laughs> Tom Schnee's just had a game eaten. Oh dear. Oh my god. <laughs> and another Amazon gone. <laughs> but, but it was a loss, so I'm not going to complain about it. Three <laughs> dice. <laughs> three dice with Pom? Yeah. Doesn't get it, but gets more hits. More 3Ds. Go. Gets the pound. 
and now the Zons have to ca are, are capped at 11 max. Now they're capped at 10 max. <laughs> but yeah, right thing by Sniper, you know, wasn't it? Maximizing blocks and everything. And there you go. Good, good. Yeah, that's looking. It's looking good for Sniperino now, isn't it? Almost, almost, not almost certainly. But also, look, uh, he stop. didn't, he didn't roll the club bomb by hit, which was very smart. Yep. Yep. Safety first. He should take off his best players and put on these two now, shouldn't he? For the uh, in case of a thrown rock. Yep. can argue that it's better to have the players in case of a riot, but I think it's I think it's more important to dodge the rock. <laughs> yeah, but off we off we go. <laughs> Elliot. It's Elliot's Nurgle. <laughs> Elliot's Nurgle's what's caused all the problems. Yeah, someone someone said it was the way the data was stored of all the different teams and stuff. Someone Be said that much data. The data is, you know, just lines of text. Yeah, which seems, which seems mental, obviously. But then on the other hand, it is cyanide, so... <laughs> I think maybe the, the, the guys that run the servers are just a company hired by cyanide, you know? <laughs> and they are the ones having problems. Maybe, but do, do, do you remember? Do you remember the UK government? They like, they 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 they, they use like Google Sheets or something for the for the tracking the vaccines, and they ran out yes. of lines or something. An excellent. Yes, he was an excellent. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like what the hell? <laughs> so you know, it's it's kind of pretty possible that that something crazy could happen, like that could be happening with cyanide, isn't it? It's not it's not even a stretch. It's, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's literally not even a stretch. Well, that's that... one of the problems with Excel. Excel is so good that people use it for things that students they use for. Yeah. yeah. So you know who knows? Because this is terrible using the whole method here. This is horrendous. Tight LOS. The tight LOS is horrendous, first of all, from Sniperino. Absolutely horrendous. And the second horrendous thing is trying to use the whole method with the movement seven. Not good enough. Not good enough, Zin. <laughs> you know, no offense, but it, it's not good. Like, it's not good. Oh, he gets the quick snap, though. Look at dog. Look at dog. Saved. <laughs> Absolutely, well, look they, at they that. suddenly become much more interesting. Yeah. Come on, man. You can, I mean, you shouldn't use the whole method. You shouldn't. If you're making chalice, I think you should be above using the whole method against a three tight LOS with movement seven sidestep. I think you should be above, above that, above the whole method. I think you should be. Like, I think it's worth it. I, like, it doesn't take that long. <laughs> It doesn't take that long to learn one turns. There is a lot of PTK videos for whoever wants to know how to do one turns and defend versus one Yeah, there you go. I think I've got a command for it as well. There you go. There is there is KFOG's... Uh... Yes. KFOG that uh, is uh, with Dio, one of the persons that maybe could uh, write a book about Blood Bowl. Which I will never buy any of them, but if someone buys a great book about Blood Bowl, I think PTK and Dio are two big candidates. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, PTK with title will be, you, you only need one turn, and for Dio, the title will be, everything is fine. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh yes, could be a trap because you end of the day you get a book about Blood Bowl and you get money. <laughs> a trap book. <laughs> oh man. Ah, it's a good point, Big Lad Gaming. Um, that's it, that's uh, absolutely right there. There you go. <laughs> No, it's not uh, as easy as click rat, click and so on. Sometimes it's oh. click elf, click and so on. 
Dude, he literally, he literally still used the whole method. <laughs> Okay, at least got a cast out of it, you know, a moment of rage there. <laughs> he didn't even hit this guy, he hit the other guy with him. Oh my god, he still had it. Didn't he? Didn't he still have it? With this, push him, then push him, and then he pushes him last. It was like still on just by hitting this. Like, he didn't even need a blitz. He could have blitzed through the line to score with his blitz. Boy, howdy. Man, I need to make like a one-turn YouTube thing, don't I? Even though I know PTK's done that and he's got some views, but I should probably, I should probably do do one as well. Not to take away from PTK's views, just you know to put it out there a bit more. Yeah, no, I say I say a lot of things, man. Go and don't do anything. <laughs> but I really should do that because then then I can say this and not just look like I'm talking shit. <laughs> People can actually see that I actually know what I'm talking about. <laughs> actually, you can uh, make videos, you know, to win your own uh, chalice. Yeah. You know, and now you could have a series of videos of uh, Chalice 42 where you create teams with the names of the coaches you're going to play using the AI, win every game, and then that's how I won Chalice, guys. Fantastic, because nobody remembers what happened in five days Chalice ago. Oh my god, that's a brilliant idea. Right, be right back, making a 1200 Kislev team <laughs> for the AI to coach. Let's <laughs> like, uh, play the video is, of that. This is how I won Chalice 22, you know. <laughs> Nobody remembers. All right, people, this was other times people were playing very differently, you know, they were at my level, feel like that. <laughs> You know, friendly or friendly games, you know, creating coaches with the same names as the opponents on the same teams. <laughs> oh man, amazing. Amazing. Oh dear. <laughs> There's still whole method users in Chalice. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, screw all. The six turn, one turn was hilarious, wasn't it? That was so, that was so funny, and it was like, I'm pretty sure it was against Flings as well, I'm pretty sure I, I copied K-Fog, so like, it was against Flings, and I was still just like, unable to not pow everything, <laughs> it was, it was insane, I was just like, I was just like, powing every single hit, and like, breaking armor, and then just having to stand them up the next, you know, turn them over, then stand them up, it was, it was so bad. <laughs> Oh, well, Penemiu, uh, if you have heard my other idea to win the actual challenge happening now, <laughs> is just create a coach name like the, your opponent, but with an empty space at the end or something like that, and you start playing challenge ga games around three in the morning or something like that, and behave absolutely horrible, insulting everybody. <laughs> so people will make a screenshots and put on the Discord of the CCL, and your rival will get uh, banned by mistake. <laughs> Perfect plan never can go wrong. You yeah. do it six times and you win the challenge. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm glad you I'm glad you said it here and not and not and not, and not in private to one of your compatriots cuz <laughs> <laughs> At least, now, at least now it won't happen. <laughs> I like sharing my knowledge of the game with the community. Yeah, it's very nice of you. Oh, dear me. <laughs> oh, dear me. Yeah, like, I think, I, like, I know I've said about doing videos, but now, you know, like, I want to do Blood Bowl things, but I really don't want to play, so I'll, I will try and do all the all the videos that I haven't done for years. I'll, I'll try and get them done. I should try and do a Bonehead podcast, shouldn't I? See what they do. I'll, I'll, I'll watch some of their, I'll watch some of their videos and see what the hell they do. Because What's that? That's what Born and High the podcast I've been hearing about. What's that? Um, the, I don't know if they, I don't know if there's people, multiple people, or just one person. But um, 
they're, they're like very popular. They've got loads of subscribers and everything on YouTube, but they're very popular. And uh, their knowledge, their Blood Bowl knowledge is, uh, you know, comparable to, um, I don't know. I don't know how I can how I can say anything without being, you know, sounding insulting. Limited. Okay, okay, uh, that's enough. Go. That's enough, yes. Limited. <laughs> <laughs> anything but playing Blood Bowl. There you go, Penamu. Anything but playing Blood Bowl. But that's still it. But still Blood Bowl related. Blood Bowl related, but without playing. That's what I want to do, isn't it? Because you know, Ten like this is amazing. Uh, subscribers. <laughs> yeah, I'm just. Ten thousand subscribers. Seven hundred eighty-nine videos. Jesus. Yeah, they make a lot of videos. Yeah, it makes it. Is it just a guy? Is it? Uh, backyard dodo. There you go. Yeah, like it's a. Uh, you know, it's, it's just it's just massively, massively popular. But uh, I watched I watched a video. I've only seen one video, um, and from that, it was uh, it was pro elf lineups, and they showed a few pro elf lineups, and none of them were the right ones. So, like, I thought that's not good, is it? Oh, it's two guys named Ben. Well, there you go, Ben and Ben. Ben pals, we could do it with Fault Force and, and uh, Fault Force and BZL. <laughs> wow, those two guys called Ben doing a Blood Bowl podcast. There's a lot of bees there. You yeah, know? they literally should have called it Two Guys Named Ben. I think that's a better name than the Born and Bomb podcast. <laughs> ben and Ben. <laughs> Do a podcast about all of Blood Bowl. One world, one Blood Bowl. Hey, that's not a bad idea, Caution. I wouldn't mind doing some uh, interviews. You know, like Rick did the interviews, didn't he? I don't mind that. I'd like to. I'd like to interview Dio, and and do that. So so you know, I'm gonna think. I'm gonna think about what I can do. <laughs> Two bends, one ball. Oh my God, that's brilliant. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so good! <laughs> Two bends, one ball, <laughs> that's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> that's why Dimi is a champ. It is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Two bends, one ball. <laughs> that's fucking brilliant. Um, yeah, like nothing personal against, uh, you know, against anybody or anything, but it was just, I was just shocked at like, it was just, it was just like there wasn't a good build, you know, like they made a video on builds. And there wasn't a good build in like about the four ones that they showed. I was like, boy, howdy. So, but obviously the videos they make are very popular, aren't they? And like the style and everything. So I, was, I thought it's worth having a what, look at to see what what the fuss is because the, you know they they are huge compared to uh, me. <laughs> so they're definitely doing things right, aren't they? That's that. That was the point I was getting. I wasn't just trying to slag them off or anything before people. People do tend to get their panties in a bunch whenever I say anything. <laughs> yeah, this, the zones look pretty stuck. Yeah, and the problem is, yeah, if I use Blood Bowl two, then it's it's really out of date, isn't it? Because there was Blood Bowl twenty sixteen, so like, I'm really out of date if I do anything with Blood Bowl two. So that that I guess I guess yeah, I'd have to make some kind of weird tabletop thing to not be really out of work, really out of date. Fair enough, Timmy. <laughs> and they're uh, no in our room. Outdated bad or both, yeah. I mean, that is. Uh, Gains were so uh, shy descent from France. I think it's been for a while, but now it's because of Brexit. If they're going to send something to the European Union and it's from the UK, there is a lot of extra taxes involved and paperwork. But if you are sending it from France around uh, other countries, that's how you do it. Mm. I know that's the case because the people from the Scotch uh, Malt Whiskey Society have to open an um, office in uh, I think the, the Netherlands. Mm. And that was the reason, because it was so much paperwork involved and so many things that it was like, oh. Do you know what? I didn't, I didn't like that apple. And I think, I'll tell you why. I, I think, because I think he's going to win anyway. You know, like there's, he's made four cars in the first half, hasn't he? So he's got big strength advantage. 
and okay it is a guard it is it is rackle right you know so it's good at getting it's good at getting them down but it was only a ko worst case scenario you're in overtime and you're gonna have two chances to get him back so i think i would have not appled that and you know try to try to pixel hook a little bit but I think if, I think it's the right decision if you are just trying to win the game, but I think it was I think I would have made it. It was already won. One. Because yeah, now he has the ball carrier to use as a, another tackler. Yeah, I think I think I would I think I would have agreed with that, but I mean it, it's it's definitely not wrong to, to apple it. I think it's right to apple it to win the game. I just think I would agree with it. The Scotch Egg Society, no <laughs> no Steve. The Scotch Egg Society is the whole Scottish society. <laughs> So yes. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, the the embassy. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Big lad gaming was in. <laughs> oh well, now see now this is one that you could have used if this guy had got cast. Do you know what I mean? Like if this guy had got cast. Then I would have like yeah I would have greeted because you know this guy was exposed. No, okay, he hasn't powered him or anything, and he hasn't got mighty blow. So like you are unlikely to take Kaz. He hasn't got mighty blow anymore. You've cast his mighty blow. Um, he hasn't got the numbers to be able to do many dirty player fouls. Even though he's still got a bribe, it's, he's going to struggle to get fouls in, isn't he? That's why I don't really like bribes. Um. But like obviously he could have won that like, he could have snowballed but yeah I, I would I would have greeted this but I, I mean I, I respect him I think it, like you know I think it is probably the right play for winning the game is to not use it but it's to uh, sorry it's the right it's it's right to have to try and win the game but I think I would have greeted it. Super Army Soldiers. That was uh, that was Ross Kemp, wasn't it? <laughs> In extras. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, that was amazing. Fucking Ross Kemp. Ross Kemp in extras was amazing. It, extras itself was amazing. Yeah, lo the loads of things were good. Yeah, that's true, Cafe Beans. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're a miniatures company, aren't they? At the end of the day, they're a miniatures company. And they just don't really care. Well, this wasn't a safe ball. He's literally just got a free 2D with Russell. <laughs> How did this happen? Why did he... How did he cage next to a wrestler? Oh wait, is it is it crashed or are we okay? I'm okay. Is that... I think we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. I was just looking at my OBS and nothing was moving, and I, I, I was, that was weird. Well, like, he, he literally caged next to a wrestler that that strength four on a blitz. Well. I don't think that was a good play, but he's all right, probably. And he can get a foul now. He can foul the wrestler. Oh, maybe he fouled him and didn't break armor. I don't know. I'll, do, I'll be honest. I, I, I lost interest last turn. <laughs> I was in the kitchen uh, grabbing a can. So. <laughs> Liquid blood ball. <laughs> <laughs> PC. Well, I don't blame you, PC. These dwarf coaches, are, they're, you know, they're despicable, aren't they? <laughs> Dwarves is not a boring team. Dwarves is, you know, any that well. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sniperino is almost assuredly an alt, yes. Some people, I've, I'm sure some people have said Corleone, but I don't know if there's any, you know, any truth behind that or if, you know, if it's just, if it's just rumours or anything. I've got no idea. No, but seriously, Games Workshop are just an are just a miniatures company, aren't they? And they they really, 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 really don't care about their games at all. <laughs> like the rules of their games, they, they just don't care. Simple as that. They care at a certain level because they need the rules to, so people can play the games to sell more miniatures yes. and books and novels. But yeah, I think for example, I think they make. A lot of money with the novels, the books, and all that. They keep pumping them non-stop. Yeah. It's I not. Have to ask, <laughs> I have to, ask, to admit that I uh, read a lot of uh, Warhammer 40k novels, and I don't play 40k. Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> yes, yes, okay, PC, yes. <laughs> they don't care about the quality of the rules, though, and they don't care about balance or anything, do they? You know? But yes, they do care that the rules regularly change so that they can make more money, yes. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> oh, he's, he's left a, uh, a... Yeah, there you go, see, look, there was going to be a, a, a hool dodge there, but then he, he moved here to, to shore it up very good. Don't let them have a hood or a weak diagonal. Weak. I like the weak diagonal thing, but I'm, if it's a chest term, I don't want to use that either. I don't like standing there because he can squeeze you at the sideline. Like he probably won't, but the fact that he could, um, I, I don't like. Even though I wouldn't think that he would, I just wouldn't like the possibility of it. Yeah, weak diagonal is is a, is a, is a good name for it, but then if it's a chest term, I don't want to use it because fuck chess. <laughs> who plays such a who plays such a lame <laughs> who plays such a lame boring game as that? I'm, I, I might give it, it a go actually. To be fair, I don't think anyone uh, plays chess. The game is uh, not uh, any rules update in the, uh, the last thousand years. Yeah, no DLCs or anything, is there? No DLCs, no patches. <laughs> you know, no new things. Yeah. Yeah, it's lame, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so, where you are going to buy the dice for chess? Where <laughs> do they sell them? Uh, you know? <laughs> they don't even make them anymore. Yeah. It's a dead game. <laughs> you can use the same miniatures from hundreds of years ago. Yeah, that's, that's fair. <laughs> yes, Big Lad Gaming. I mean, that is, I mean, apart from the language that you used, um, that is that is my main my main uh, my main basis for wanting to play it a little bit because I do get annoyed by getting fucked by the dice constantly in every game that I play. <laughs> that is a good yes. point as well, Penemu. Yeah. yeah. No, the reason that I say things with a good heart, with a heart of gold, El Mim. <laughs> I've improved myself on these arenas for a long time now. <laughs> I mean, chess is... <laughs> the chess in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> yes, chess but... is genuinely unbalanced, isn't it? But yeah, it's funny. Chess also has the thing that you know when you make a mistake or something like that. There is no, there is no the relief that oh I got dice it so there was nothing to do. It's like you lose because you were worse than the other player. Yeah. Yeah. And that could be you know a really tough thing to take. That's why I think you know when people say oh kids should play chess and all that, <laughs> yes and no because it can be brutal. Yeah. Does he? Uh, does he just go for this? Go for the uh, go for the pass and run away. I don't think he has many other options. Yeah, he doesn't, does he? <laughs> Chess is the only game with longer terms than Rebel. <laughs> In fact, no. I think that usually nowadays the terms for the chess tournaments 
are you know with the timer and all that it's like two three minutes or something like that yeah yeah they are they are pretty fast yeah but it was still funny though like it... yeah yeah i know those <laughs> old games uh, karpov kasparov and all that you know <laughs> the seven hours or something like that yeah But yeah, chess has a lot to do with the uh, blue ball because the people that play chess also uh, use the line like, who would like play chess? Jesus Christ, I play this game. I hate this game. <laughs> a lot of the time. Yeah, there is a lot of crossover, to be fair, with like, yeah, chess chess and poker, isn't there? Like, and blood ball, like a lot of the, lot of the people that like a lot of the things like the same things like that. <laughs> Look at this, there's a weak diagonal. A weak diagonal. Very bad. Very bad thing. I could make a video like explaining Blood Bowl terms, couldn't I? Like that's a weak that like, like this is a screen, that's a weak diagonal. And then make sure everyone uses the right terms. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yes, you know, proper thing like that. The proper jokes and all that, you know, where the, all the reference come from. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Exactly. Chess doesn't even have kickoff events. <laughs> Shitty game. Yeah, imagine not just losing a game before it starts. <laughs> imagine, 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 imagine it's, it's like fucking what's he called? Magnus Carlsen in the in the chess, you know, world championships final, and then the opponent just rolls a dice. Oh no, no queen for you this game. <laughs> Actually, you also can't use it for the rest of the tournament as well. <laughs> Unlucky, buddy. <laughs> Throne rock, get fucked. <laughs> good, good. This was a good recovery, wasn't it? This turn, like, I was tempted to do the stupid, this, this, the kind of idiotic play of passing it there, but this was pretty good, getting a screen out here. And uh, but the problem is again, say right, because it wasn't one further in, which is where I would have wanted it. Now he can pin it to the sideline, and probably will. Then it's still a wearing turn. It's gonna be tempting to think for the Amazon. So. Many chances of being able to manage a score. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, right, Dimi? Because now he's going to bring people over. He's going to bring this guy back for a start. And now you don't have this pass play or, or like a handoff play or anything. And that's the thing. Like, maybe you should have dodged this one first anyway to just have somebody actually down there. But yeah, now it, like it's get that's getting pinned. He blitzes this one and he moves back. And it's just like really hard. Okay, he's not going to move back. But he, he could have done. Yeah, I've seen faster dwarves every time PC plays. When uh, PC's got special dwarves where the longbeards are movement six and the blitzers are movement six, seven. Yes. No, six, yes, uh, <laughs> yes. And the runners movement eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> And I mean, yes, oh, yeah, yeah. It, it is fun being able to blame the dice when you lose, but like, I never really do. I don't think, I don't think I do. There's been some very obvious dice in, so yeah. Yeah. And there is a reality. Some games are lost because of the dice. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the dice are the most impactful thing in any game. Like literally, a cat could beat Kfog if it rolled if it rolled good enough dice, couldn't it? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> the, 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 the chances are very, very low, but mm -hmm. if every block is a kill and every dodge uh, blade works, which is cool to happen because it dies, you can uh, beat anyone. Yeah, exactly. A, a literal penguin could beat KFOG, as long as it can roll dice, yeah. Because it just makes four blocks on turn one, well, three blocks on turn one, and kills three players. And then KFOG you know, makes a GFI or a block and his guy dies and then the, the penguin kills him and then a player dies every turn and then it wins. Like, literally any anybody can win. Like, the, the dice cannot be beaten, can they? Now, obviously, the chances of that happening are incredibly small, but it's the, it is just a fact. You can diminish, diminish the effect of the dice. You can reduce uh, the use of dice, but dice will be rolled. Hmm. Like, nothing can beat that. If the dice are that extreme, nothing can beat it. 
at the end of the day. So it ultimately dice are the main the main thing, aren't they? Yeah, sometimes games are determined by the kick of event. So unbelievably there's like there's not as much cover here as there could have been. Um but there's still probably enough that a potato's pretty shit now. I don't know, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. You try to like just get here and make some kind of a cage. I don't know, it's pretty it's pretty horrible. I guess the, this this stun is good. But like it's it this obviously tackles on two players. Zatch for them. This can dodge and go there, maybe? I don't know, it's really tough, isn't it? It's, it's really tough, I don't, I don't know what the play is here. Concede, probably. <laughs> maybe just dodge out and run over there. Oh, oh pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. I have to think now all that time, yeah, just, just run away. It's got a GFI to get away from this. So it probably should. It's only got one reroll, but he probably should. It gets you a square close to the end zone anyway. And you've got sidesteps, so you're not getting served. T A Y T O. There you go. We're gonna see the the GFI. No. He can make a dodge with a player on the ground next to the tackler with claw. Make some kind of a screen, maybe. Yeah, maybe. It's hard though, because it's against tackle, so I'd rather make yes, a two yes. plus. I'd rather make a two plus uh, without a reroll than a three plus without a reroll. But this one can come around a bit. Oh, last reroll. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, Mazen, maybe. No, fair enough, sick as eggs. I, I don't blame you for not being an expert. This is, uh, you know, it's very technical, this this game, isn't it? And <laughs> at this point, at this point, yes. Is there is uh, no way you can create a 2D block on the ball. <laughs> that I can see, it's like literally impossible. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to move this one out to here. Yes, the, the, the player needs to move somewhere. Yeah, he has to go there first. Ooh. And then he could have tried to dodge this guy out. Yeah. Tag the tackler and then try to dodge the other one. Yeah, okay, yeah, tackle, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, if he was going to tag, he could have tagged, then dodge this. Yeah, that was sweet push, didn't it? Because now he can free him and then get him up there, which is. Yeah, he did. He did. He did get. He did get a pretty good. He did get a pretty good shape at the end. But the problem is, how's he going to score? He's got no re rolls. He's got three turns. Like all, all, uh, all sniperino has to do is keep one of these two back deep, and he's just fucked, isn't he? Basically, because he can't. He can't speed past everything. Oh well, that was a big push. Huge push. Yes, I mean, Sniperino now can uh, blitz with one tackler and tag the ball and keep the other tackler, uh, give some support with the Chaos Warrior, you know, uh, blitz the IG4 uh, player with tackle, then use the. and then you get free yeah, yeah. also the Chaos Warrior. Yeah, Chaos it, Warrior. He can just hit the ball, can't he? He could just go yep. one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. That might be worth it, but I mean, I don't think he should. I don't think no, he would, should do that, but he, he could have done. I would have blitzed the IG4. That the one that's in front of the ball. Yeah, yeah. Because now his warrior is in a bit of a shit spot. Yes, because also you, if you can get rid of the IG4, that's a good piece to get rid of. Yeah, this is a, this is a huge non non knockdown. It might have been worth blitzing this guy just to get these two relevant because like he's these are all not doing a lot, are they? And he hasn't got a lot, and he actually has got three players. He can dodge away away from not tackle. He's got these. Th he's got three players free. I don't know if you bolt this guy. Yeah, I mean, maybe you have to. Next I'm blitz. Turn. 
Amber is that piece. Yeah, yeah, you can just blitz him, yeah, and then you, but then it gives, leaves you one less person. But I guess then you like sideline cage. Blitz the oh, you'd like to blitz the warrior though. You could blitz the warrior, couldn't you? That could be good. You could surf the warrior. But yeah, I guess you blitz. Yeah, you can't dodge him because he's you know he made the dodge to mark these two. That's a, that was a nice dodge. Like he had to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's. Now it's one in nine to blitz the tackler, the wrestle tackler. No. So you can free the ball. Like it literally might be worth bolting him and then go here and, and block him and then blitz him and stuff. Okay, he's just he's just going for the one in nines, which is, which is fair enough. Like, isn't it? You don't, obviously you don't want to use the wizard to to score your own try. Ball can go there, can't he? And he can surf the surf the warrior. Like he's got to do that. That's that's too nice having that serve. <laughs> Doesn't get it. <laughs> oh man, that's unlucky. Uh, what a moment to get that one in nine. <laughs> At least got the warrior down. Yeah, that is unlucky. That's it. Just block there and then dodge him out on threes and then try and dodge him at the end. Not yet, Dimmy, because he's got oh god the push is he's got to follow so he can dodge out this way. He can he can he can see he can can't really seal it. He hasn't got any dick sealant. Needs to uh Tag the Surhans player. Yeah, Is it something. Yeah. yeah, he's got a four. He's got a four three it and then stand there. Because if not, did you know that uh, even with that, it's a two die on the ball. If uh, very easy with that piece. Yes, move the warrior that is free. Yeah, but I mean the warrior. Okay, the warrior that's... is 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 irrelevant. He doesn't got tackle as he. This is what he's scared no. of. No. I mean, I mean the one with the down with the mighty blow, uh, claw one. It's also free, so you can move uh, to uh, to put them to the ag four and the tackle one. Okay, it's oh, a little better. Yeah, it's nah. going to yeah. Okay, okay, that's. Still think you probably hear. I mean, this is pretty good, though, isn't it? Maybe he bolts. Maybe he bolts now, but uh, but then he can just hit him. Can only one DM though, can't he? So maybe maybe you uh maybe you bolt this guy this turn. Because I think he's gonna hit, isn't he? Yes. Stand the warrior, go for the hit. Yeah. Like he can't surf him, but it's still two two D with tackle. I guess you want to save the wizard as long as possible, don't you? Like, so yeah, I guess you, I guess you can't. Wizard. Like, obviously, wizarding makes it better, but then you need to win the game, don't you? And like, it, it makes the next turn safe, and it makes it a little bit harder for it to get in your way and everything. But ultimately, to win the game, you've got to survive this turn and then bolt turn fifteen or sixteen if, if only if you have to. But. Chaos managed to do some bad things to get so out of position, didn't they? Here, all these players over here. Yeah. It's... Not the end of the world, but uh, yes, there's some pieces that shouldn't be there. Yeah. There was a lot of bollocks talked in <laughs> in chat that <laughs> that's kind of distracted because we thought we're well, like we all thought the match was over, but somehow the chaos okay. have got like. <laughs> Again, the favorite team gets in trouble. Yeah, somehow because we because we decide is the favorite team. Yeah. Yeah, standing like standing in front of people is a is a really good defense most of the time, and you get into trouble when you stop doing that. Oh, no good. Gets the pow. Does he go pow. to here? Yeah. Yeah, 
exactly mangle. Yeah, there's a lot to be said for like just playing hyper conservatively for sure. Hey, now the Amazons have an easy recover and a surf. Yeah, well, they've got two surfs. Potentially, so they, do they get a little bit greedy? This is the question, and I think they they, they definitely should, and, and they should make a dodge and get two surfs. Right, it's turn 15, though, isn't it? It's turn 15. But you can get rid of the ball carrier of the Chaos team. Very juicy piece. Yeah, it's tough, isn't it? Maybe you shouldn't do. Maybe you shouldn't surf them both. Maybe you should just. But then that stun means that you kind of can, doesn't it? The surf means that you kind of can surf both. Oh, it looks like he's not gonna. Oh, I'll guess the power anyway. No, oh, and he's followed as well. Eh? Why well, they follow? You had a beautiful. Uh... Start with the piece on the floor and then pick up with the IGPs. Yeah, because it was a really nice, it was a really nice blitz as well, wasn't it? Because he blitzes him and then assists over here as well, or like tags this guy over there. So it was, it was a really good blitz and saves the one in thirty six dodge. I don't know where his blitz is going to come. That is more or less uh, all right, but it's a uh, four plus into three plus for two dice on the ball, or four plus for one dice on the ball with tackle. No, yeah, no, but it's, it, it wasn't any more risky. It wasn't any more risky. Look, he just doesn't follow, and then he blitzes, and it's a one in thirty-six, which is the exact same as the dodge. And then you go over here to tag, which is nice, isn't it? And, yes. and it's just literally just better to surf the warrior. Like you have to. It surf was the it warrior, was two dice. It was two dice on the warrior to sure to surf. Uh, oh, I guess you get no. You get tackle. You get tackle on the dodge. Yeah. Okay. You get the tackle on the dodge though. Yeah. Okay. This guy's got dodge, and then by following, he's got tackle on him. So that that's that's the difference. That's the difference, and that's the payoff. Is the, is getting the tackle on him, and he's only got one reroll. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing. He's, he's got dodge and he's got tackle, so yeah, okay. I really did like serving him, but yeah, obviously I wouldn't do it on one dice. And I wouldn't dodge him or anything, so like... Yeah, okay. Here we go, Wrestle. Gets the boat down. Oh, into a tackle oh. zone. Boy, howdy. Three plus without the dodge, but then it's a three plus with sure hands, two plus with dodge. Yeah. With whom the did they play? No, did they play the, if anything should tag someone uh, somewhere. Yeah, it or get play, close to the ball. Tag, tags the tags the ball, tags the guard, and then he could try a cheeky foul. He could dodge. He could try dodging here, like straight ahead, rather than dodging on the ball. But he has dodged on the ball. And he does reuse his last reroll. Boy, howdy. Gets the dodge, gets the pick up, so now I guess... Where does he go though? Because if you, if you dodge here, then he can just hit you and, and knock you there and pick it up and score, so... Yeah, this is, this isn't that good, because he can just literally just hit you and then and then have the edge four. Or he can bolt you and, and you're in perfect range of the edge four. I think the bolt is going to come next turn. Yeah, Because yeah. it's going to be turn 16 for the Amazons. Yeah, he's just got a ball in, hasn't he? 
Then uh, oh, he's gonna throw it. Oh, he's punted it. Of course. Oh, you love it. Of course. The love punt. it. The punt. I never think about punting. Like it's funny because Rick is like always thinking about punting, and I never think about punting. And yeah, the punt wins it. Yeah, of course. And I think that's it. HMP, None of the no can reach. Yep. HMP would not have been better. So there you go. It was good enough. Oh man, yeah, imagine a HMP. HMP would be really good there if this was randomly your HMP player. Glorious punts, there you go. Sniperino, what a what a player. The team that was down 400 TV goes out of Chalice having not used their wizard. <laughs> but it was I mean it was tough, wasn't it? It was a real tough game. And he tried to like I, I quite like trying to save it to be fair. If he's been served, he would have been able to punt. <laughs> That's very true, yeah. Like I really liked surfing him just because he's so good. Like there's a there was a lot to be said for surfing him. There, re there really was. Like he's such a good player. But like Especially because that surf was going to be followed by another surf. So there is a big uh, you know argument for going for that little getting greed there to get a much easier yeah. uh, rest of the half or extra time yeah yeah just pull the carrier oh wow he's not he's gonna he's gonna not he's gonna not pull at all he's gonna cast himself he's gonna cast himself <laughs> he could have missed next the ball carrier <gasps> sniper reno's next opponent Loving the fact. <laughs> oh, Did he? So this was here, and then chain him, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Good play. By Penemy United 3. <laughs> well, by Zin, I mean, that was, that's what he was going for, wasn't he? He was, he was yes, going for Yes, he was going for that. Dutch. It was really good, really good shout. He did the correct play. Good spot. Good spot from a uh, lucky look, look, and Sassanik, and of course Zin, who did it. But yeah, and two cast play to uh, for a style points. Yeah, look a dog. There's another, there's a, look, there's another L shape as well. <laughs> Started with one, ended with one. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Commiseration Zinn played, played really well. You know, kept giving himself a chance to, uh, to do something with his, you know, pretty, pretty, like, outclassed, wasn't it? It was only about 1600 or something. So it's a pretty outclassed team. But, um, yeah, but he had some very good uh, plays and very good uh, screens. Yeah, yeah, really. Like, it was desperation mode for most of the game, but I, I didn't like the first few turns where he just stood in the line, but, you know, like, what can you do about that at the end of the day? If you, if you get based up, it's you're getting problems, don't you? So, like, maybe that was more good play by Sniper Eno than bad by him. Uh, if only he'd had a wizard, yeah. I mean, but again, right, like, what's the point in using your wizard to get to overtime or make a a turn or two earlier in the half safer when at the end of the day you've got to win the game so I think he did the right things he had to do to get the game and that was a lovely spot for the chain to, to go and pick up the ball at the end of the game so yeah really good by him and obviously really good by Sniperino 
mostly uh, made it pretty safe and congratulations to him and thank you very much Fanny Mia. absolutely glorious having you in the booth always a pleasure and uh, thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic <laughs>